<laughs> Go Buster! It's Halloween, and Buster is at Daddy's house. <laughs> oh, but Halloween can be scary. <laughs> Daddy Bus has an idea. He's going to tell a Halloween story. Daddy's going to tell a story of the brave wizard's adventure to find the magic gems and save Halloween. Buster the brave wizard went on an adventure. He had to find all the magic gems. There must be gems in that castle. They're guarded by a monster. <laughs> This wizard must be very brave, Dad. <sighs> the wizard was the bravest of all, Buster! <laughs> ah. <laughs> the hero presses on through the dark woods towards the castle. <gasps> Something stirs in the darkness up ahead in the forest. What is it, Dad? A werewolf? <gasps> A ghost? A were-ghost! <laughs> The mysterious shadow grows larger. Is it the monster? <laughs> he found a jewel. Well done. <laughs> Finally, the wizard reached the mysterious castle. There must be more gems inside, huh? but how to get there? He needs to lower the drawbridge, but how? The wizard could use his magic! Ha! <laughs> Good idea! The brave adventurer pushed forward inside the castle walls. <laughs> Onward, into the castle! How brave the wizard is! What will our hero do? Run huh? or continue? Continue, continue! Ooh. The wizard has to find the treasure and save Halloween! <laughs> but what's that behind them? It's the monster! If the wizard wants to get those magic jewels, he'll need to get past it. Wait, Daddy. The monster must be really lonely. Oh, I suppose so, yes. The monster is lonely. Maybe the wizard should help the monster. He needs a friend. And so the brave wizard rolled up and used his magic to make the castle all warm and bright. <laughs> the monster is you, Dad. <laughs> the monster was so grateful he gave the wizard all the magic jewels. So brave Buster <laughs> saved Halloween for everyone. It's Buster, our favorite yellow bus. But wait. You don't look as bright and yellow as usual. Oh, Buster, I think you need a new coat of paint. You're looking a little scruffy. Great idea. A trip to the paint shop will do the trick. He looks like one happy customer. Buster can't wait to get a fresh new coat of yellow paint. He's going to look good as new. Oh my, what was that? That made you jump, didn't it, Buster? Oh no, Buster's mixed up the paint cans. I don't think he's realized. Is that gonna be the right color? Here goes, Buster. A fresh new coat of yellow. Oh no, that's not yellow. Buster has been sprayed red. And I don't think he's noticed. Take a look at yourself, Buster. You're a red bus. Quickly, back to the paint shop. Oh dear, you've knocked over all the paint. How will you be able to tell which color is which? Here goes. Oh no, that's not quite right. Buster is now blue. Jesse seems very surprised. Yes, it's because of how blue you are, Buster. Maybe this time you'll come out yellow. Hmm, still not yellow. Now Buster is green. Look at how confused Tony is. Fourth time lucky. Close your eyes and wish for yellow, Buster. Oh no! Jesse and Scout still don't seem to recognize you, Buster. Buster has now been sprayed pink. Wait, Buster, I'm not sure that's the answer. <laughs> Buster the rainbow colored bus. I'm not sure if Robin approves. Which paint can to choose from? One of these must be yellow. The moment of truth. Phew! There we go! That's the 
the Buster the bus we all know, with a bright new shiny coat of yellow paint. That was quite a colorful adventure. Buster is at Daddy's house today. Oh, look, it's Daddy Bus. Tomorrow, Buster is going back to school. <laughs> it's going to be great. But first, they need to get ready. Daddy Bus has a checklist of everything Buster needs before he goes back to school tomorrow. <laughs> he needs his rucksack, a lunchbox, his school book, a pencil case, and a ruler. Hmm. Rucksack, check. Lunchbox, check. Everything else, check. And last but not least, the shark tooth from his holiday for show and tell. Wow! Buster needs to get a good night's sleep before school tomorrow. Good night, Buster. There goes the alarm. It must be time to get up. Oh no, Buster has gone back to sleep. Oh dear. And now he's going to be late for school. Quick, they've got to get everything ready. Huh? What does Buster need? Rucksack, check. Lunchbox, check. Pencil case and school book, check. But what is he missing? The ruler. Aha, there it is. It's time to head off for school. Wait a second, Buster forgot his shark tooth. <gasps> quick, Buster, quick! Shark tooth, check. They're going to have to race to get there on time. Go, Buster! Looks like the teacher is getting worried. All his friends are already at school, and he's going to be late. Oh, no! Phew! He did it! Just in time! What a crazy morning! Buster and his friends are on a holiday at the beach. What a fun day out! Wow! The sea looks amazing! What is that in the water? Ah! It's a shark! Buster is very scared! Oops! Watch out, Iggy! Mommy Bus is taking a nap on the beach. Buster is trying to tell her what he saw. It had scary fins and jumped out of the water. It was a shark! <gasps> hmm. hmm, Mommy Bus can't see anything. <gasps> Don't worry, Buster. Mm -hmm. Everything is fine, and Mommy Bus <laughs> is going back to her nap. <gasps> Buster is still very scared. I wonder if the shark is still there. Ah, it's a shark! Go, Buster, go! Not again! Buster is still frightened, but he wants to get over his fear. He's going back again. There's the shark. Wait a second, what's wrong? The shark has a sore, wobbly tooth. That's why it was jumping out of the water. Don't worry, shark. Buster can help. He's trying to get Mommy's attention. She's awake. She's got our vet kit and Mommy Bus to the rescue. Splat! 
<laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> Mommy Bus is removing the shark's wobbly tooth. It's out! Hooray! The shark feels so much better now. Well done, Buster. He can't wait to show the tooth to his friend. At the end of school. And it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. <laughs> now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa! Careful, Buster! That was a close one! Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster. You don't want to knock the flower. Oh, no! The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm. Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! Buster, Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout's dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close. Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh, skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun. They could play a game, see who can skid the furthest. What a great idea. Bandit is going first. Swish, he skidded all the way over there. But Scout thinks she can do better. Vroom. Whoa, Scout went even further than Bandit. <laughs> now it's Ash's turn. <laughs> he's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh. Uh-oh, he's getting out of control. Whoa! Oops, Buster splashed Mommy with mud. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash! And there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. Ash is coming round to play at Buster's house. They're really excited to play some board games. Today's game is Snakes and Ladders. How exciting! And Ash gets to go first. Five and two, that's seven. So Ash moves his counter seven spaces. Now it's Buster's turn. Eight! Along the counter goes. Now it's Ash's turn again. Oh, wow! He's rolled very well. He's going up a ladder. Now Buster. Five. Oh, dear! Down the snake he goes. Buster's not doing well. 
Oops, he knocked over his counter. What's that? Here comes Grandpa with lots of other toys to play with, but he's dropped them all. Ash is helping to pick them all up. But no one is watching Buster. <gasps> oh no, he moved his counter up. But that's cheating. Oh no, he's moved it to the finish line like he's won the game. Now Ash is back. Looks like the game is over. Buster won. Ash doesn't understand how that happened, but he's happy for his friend. Ah. That's odd. Buster should feel happy he won, but he doesn't feel right. Not right at all. Buster cheated. He didn't win fair and square, so it feels all wrong. But Grandpa knows it's not all about winning. It's playing the game that's the fun part. And now it's Ash's turn. Ash rolls. Whoa, he almost went down the snake. Buster goes down another snake and... <laughs> there, Ash won fair and square. But Buster is happy for his friend. They had so much fun playing together. It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. They're Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear. I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash! It's so nice to make new friends. Buster looks so excited. I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner, but he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm, Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look, he's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. 
Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. Buster is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys, the ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum, he remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad, but he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice. Buster and Scout are really grooving. Nice work, guys. Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drums. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops. Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along. And all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four. There. That sounds even better than before. At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy. What a kind thing Buster did. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano. Wow. They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow, it looks like an erupting Ooh. volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. What a mess. It looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh no, Scouts didn't go right either. Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board. What a good idea. The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone. Daddy Bus and Buster are driving across the hills. Oh, look! It's a baby deer! What's it running from? Huh? It's tracks in the train! Oh no, what's wrong? Traxon can't stop! Quick! Buster and Daddy Bus to the rescue! Oh no, he's speeding up! Daddy Bus is calling Otis the police car! This is an emergency! 
there's a branch on the tracks. Daddy Bus swoops in and moves it. Hooray! Well done, Daddy Bus. Looks like the tracks change directions up ahead. Daddy Bus and Buster are pulling the levers to change the direction of the tracks. But oh no, Terry is crossing the tracks. Change them, quick! That was close. Now Traxon is going round and round. He's getting dizzy. Oh no, watch out! Phew, Daddy was just in time. Looks like Buster has a plan. They need to direct Traxon towards the hill. The hill is slowing him down. He stopped! Hooray! Go, Buster! <laughs> Otis has arrived on the scene. This doesn't look like an emergency. Oops, look at those paint brushes. Buster and his friends are painting the walls in Buster's room today. How exciting! Mommy Bus is bringing them lots of different colored paints. They can paint the wall underneath the window. Hmm, what color should Buster choose? Scout has chosen purple. And Ash has picked red. And Buster, yellow, of course. Let's paint. Oops. Ash adds a red splat to match Scout's. And Buster adds a yellow splat, awesome. I wonder what Scout is painting first. It's a rocket! Awesome! Cool! Busters go next. What's he going to paint? A bumblebee! Not on the cabinet, Ash! Now they're having a paint fight. Be careful! That paint is very messy! Oh dear, they're getting paint everywhere! What a mess! Uh-oh, the yellow paint is all over the floor! And now the purple! Yikes! Mommy Bus is wondering what all that noise is. That was so much fun! Uh-oh, they didn't realize they were making such a mess! But Buster has a plan. They can use Ash's hose to clear it up. The water is washing away the paint. Great job, Ash! Oh no! Mommy Bus is coming and they haven't finished clearing up the mess yet! Time to get all cleaned up! Ash is hosing Buster down. Splash! Now it's Scout's turn. And that looks like so much fun! And finally, Ash. Well done, everyone! Wow! The room looks completely clean! Time for Ash and Scout to head off home. Oops! Well, not completely. It's a sunny day in the school playground. And Buster and Scout are drawing together. Uh oh! Looks like they both want the blue crayon. Buster snatches it. And now Scout is trying to snatch it back. It's given Buster and Bandit a great idea for a game they can all play together. Using their imaginations. 
<laughs> it's cops and robbers. Buster and Bandit are the robbers. And Ash and Scout are the cops trying to catch them. Off they go. The chase is on. Buster and Bandit are splitting up. Oh no! Bandit is cornered. Aha! He's got a plan. Where has he gone? Hang on a second. That box is moving. Quick, Ash. You can catch him. He's jumping off that ramp. Go, Buster! I wonder if Buster and Bandit are going to escape. They're all getting very close. Whoa, watch out! Buster and Bandit have driven straight into jail. Hooray for the cops, Scout, and Ash. Time to give up the crayon, Buster. <laughs> that was fantastic. What a brilliant game. Now Scout can finally finish off her drawing. Buster and Bandit are free to go. What a fantastic playtime, everyone! Buster and his friends are at school. And today, they have a very special visitor. It's Mommy Fire Truck! Hooray! She's here to show them what a fire truck does. When a building is on fire, you have to call a firefighter as quick as you can. What happens next? A hose is attached to a water hydrant and the water puts out the fire. Yippee! It's time to practice. They have to knock the cones over with a jet of water. Ash is first. Yay! Well done, Ash! And Scout? Oops! That's better! Well done! Now it's Buster's turn! Wow! Watch out, Buster! That was a great day! But now Mommy Fire Truck needs to get to work! Goodbye, Mommy Fire Truck! Thank you! Now it's the end of the day, and Buster is heading home! Bye, Scout! Bye, Ash! <gasps> what is that? It's smoke! Where could it be coming from? <gasps> oh no! It's a fire! What should Buster do? He needs a firefighter! Buster is getting Mommy Fire Truck to help! Teacher will take care of Ash. Go, Mommy, go! There's the fire. Aha! And there's a water hydrant. Next step, attach the hose. Oh no! Quick! Phew! The fire is out! Yippee! <laughs> what great teamwork! <laughs> it's the next day at school. Teacher is calling Buster up to the front. What could it be for? Look! Mommy Fire Truck! <laughs> She's here to thank Buster for all his help and award him with a special fire truck hat. Go, Buster! Buster and Scout are on their way home from school. Bye, Scout! What's Buster spotted? Oh, look! It's Diggly and Daisy! Buster wants to help. But safety first! Look at that awesome builder's hat! 
Buster's helping them move a crate off Rocky the Riverboat. Great teamwork, guys! Now, they're placing the crate on the construction site. Mr. Rubble is off to get some lunch. See you later, Mr. Rubble! Oh, no! The crate is sinking into the mud! Go, Buster, go! Oh, no! Now Buster is stuck in the mud as well! Daisy to the rescue! Nope, that didn't work. What's that? Diggly is hooked up to that crane. And he's pulling Buster out. It's working. Just a little bit more. Oops. Now they're all stuck. And Mr. Rubble hasn't noticed. But Buster's got a plan. He's wrapping the wire around the crane and attaching it to the crate so they can pull themselves out. Brilliant idea, Buster! Diggly and Daisy are both pulling the rope at different times. But they need to work together. And that's it! Hooray! It worked! Mr. Rubble still hasn't noticed them. So they quickly pull the crate out. Everything is back to normal. Well, not quite back to normal. They're all covered in mud. It's time to get cleaned up. Mr. Rubble is spraying them with the hose. There, that's much better. <laughs> now it's time for a spot of lunch. Yum, yum. But what's that? Mr. Rubble has driven straight into the mud. Don't worry, Mr. Rubble. They know just what to do. Heading off to school. Wait a second, Buster. Don't forget, it's school photo day today. So you need an extra polish. Bye, Mommy Bus. Look! Terry Tractor is here to take the school photos. Bandit and Ash are up first. Smile! Buster's turn next. And he wants to get an action shot. Whoops! Buster slipped! Watch out, Scout! Oh no, what's wrong? The teacher is handing Buster a mirror. Buster has knocked out his wobbly front tooth! Oh no! And now Buster is too embarrassed to have his photo taken. It's okay, Buster. You can have it taken another day. Buster is feeling really sad about missing out on the photos, but Mommy Bus is here to pick him up. And she's taking him to the dentist to get his tooth looked at. Hooray! Buster is a little bit nervous. Don't worry, Buster. Amber the ambulance is here to take a look at that tooth for you. It's time to sit in the special dentist chair. Wow, that looks like so much fun! And now it's time to check that tooth. Don't worry, Buster. There's nothing to be scared of. First, Amber is looking at the tooth with a little mirror. Open wide, Buster. Say, ah! Uh. And what's that? Amber's going to play Buster a video. It's another bus, just like Buster. And his tooth has fallen out. 
But don't worry, another one will grow in its place. He might be missing a tooth for now, but soon he'll have a brand new one. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Buster now feels much better. Thanks, Amber. <laughs> And now he's going back to school to get his photo taken. <laughs> Gather in, Buster. Say cheese! It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside. But what's this? He's left his toys all over the floor. Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play. <laughs> Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast! But not very well! Oh dear! He's knocked that glass over! And now his mopping up has left water everywhere! Soon, Buster is outside playing! What was that? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Mommy slipped on all the water. Mm. Oh dear, the room is still such a mess. Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well. But he can make it all better. He just has to clean up properly and take his time to do it right. Mommy and Buster can do it together, like it's a game. <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them. And they're so much faster if you work together. There, Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled. Perfect! The room is all tidy at last. Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together. Hooray! <laughs> it's evening time, and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun! First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy. Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer, but Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now, everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster, too! They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them. She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend, Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh, Grandpa has a remote-controlled car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom! Look at it go! <laughs> now Scout wants to go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh. Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh, dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh, no! The car crashed and broke. Now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. <laughs> oh, now they've made up. Oh. Friends always <laughs> forgive each other. <laughs> there! Now they can both control the car. 